What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going over a really cool fact and a really cool thing that you guys probably didn't really think of. Okay, so owls, right? What are owls known for? They're known for silent flight. They're known for flying at night being one of the few nocturnal birds, which actually there are quite a few nocturnal birds, but I think they're the most famous ones would be like species of owls. And they're not very known well for is their hearing. Owls have amazing hearing. As a matter of fact, like the reason their face is actually shaped the way it is, is um, all to improve their sound. You gotta think about it. It makes sense. They can see you well in the dark, yeah. They fly silently so they can snatch up anything before they even knew it was there. I mean, there's a video about an owl taking out a hawk, which is nuts, and the other hawks have no idea what's going on. You don't really think of them being known for their hearing, but an owl's face, like that's why they have that flat face and like how everything runs in. It's actually designed perfectly to just absorb sound. I thought it'd be really cool to go over that. We're going to do their silent flight at some other point. Um, so be sure to stick around for that video. Let's go ahead and get into this. And you guys should go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. As well as drop some comments down below with any stories you guys have that are owl related. Did you guys know these facts about owls? What do you guys think? And let's go ahead and get into this. I always like to say at the beginning of these videos, guys. Art I do not own the rights to this article. I simply use them to pass along information. This particular article is from owlpages.com. And if you guys would like, go over there and show them some love. But we're going to go ahead and stick, go through this anyway. So I want you guys to stick around and do that as well. Okay. Owls, Ears, and Hearing by Deanne, Diane Dan Lewis. Because owls are greatly active at night, they have highly developed auditory hearing systems. The ears are located at the sides of the head behind the eyes and are covered by the the feathers of the facial disc. The ear tufts visible on some species are not ear tufts at all, but simply displaced feathers. So yeah, like this, I believe is like a horned owl and those are feathers, not ears. Um, oh, sorry, a long-eared owl's ears are not feathers. The shape of the ear opening known as the aperture depends on the specific species of owl. In some species, the opening has a valve called an opercellum covering it. The opening varies from a small round aperture to a, an oblong slit with a large operculum. All owls of the family Titonidae have rounded eye openings with large opercula, while in Strigidae, the shape of the outer ear is more varied. So. You guys are wondering, I guess that's what an owl ear looks like. An owl's range of audible sounds is not unlike that of humans, but an owl's hearing is much more acute at certain frequencies, enabling it to hear even the slightest movement of their prey in leaves or undergrowth. Some owl species have asymmetrically set ear openings, i.e. one ear is higher than the other, in particularly the strictly nocturnal species such as the barn owl or the ting Tingman, Tingmalmus, Boreal Owl. These species have a very pronounced facial disc, which acts like a radar dish, guiding sounds into the ear openings. The shape of the disc can be altered at will using spatial, or sorry, using special facial muscles. Also, an owl's bill is pointed downward to increase the surface area over which the sound waves are collected by the facial disc. In four species, Ural, Great Grey, Boreal, Tinglemans, and Saw White, the ear asymmetry is actually in the temporal parts of the skull, giving it a loop-sided appearance, lopsided appearance. An owl uses this unique sensitive ears to locate prey by listening for prey movements through ground cover, such as leaves, foliage, or even snow. I mean, they hunt mice. It's literally what they do. So it makes sense they need to be able to hear underground and under brush and stuff so they know where their prey is. When a noise is heard, the owl is able to tell its direction because of the minute time difference in which the sound is perceived in the left and right ear. For example, if the sound was to the left of the owl, the left ear would hear it before the right ear. The owl then turns its head so the sound arrives at both ears simultaneously. Then it knows the prey is right in front of it. Owls can detect a left-right time difference of about 0 .00003 seconds, 30 millionths of a second. An owl can also tell if the sound is higher or lower using the asymmetrical or uneven ear openings. 
in a barn owl, the left ear, the left opening is higher than the right. So a sound coming from below the owl's line of sight will be louder on the right ear. The transitional, the translation of left, right, up, and down signals are combined instantly in the owl's brain and create a mental image of the space where the sound source is located. Studies of barn owls have revealed that the mandula, the area in the brain associated with hearing, is much more complex than in other birds. A barn owl's medulla is estimated to have at least 95,000 neurons, three times as many as a crow. Once the owl has determined the direction of its next victim, it will fly towards it, keeping its head in line with the direction of the last sound of the prey made. If the prey moves, the owl is able to make corrections mid-flight. When about 60 centimeters from the prey, the owl will bring its feet forward and spread its talons in an oval pattern, and just before striking, it thrusts its legs out in front of its face and often closes its eyes before the kill. So that's basically so it doesn't damage its eyes, because that's also very important. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, that's basically it. So imagine an owl's face is basically like a speaker, so it's but it's listening to like your... Uh, what what like if I like me speaking into my microphone right now, right? Like the microphone is shaped like you know. Obviously, this is a bad example. It's gonna have anything, but it's shaped to absorb sound, and that's what an owl's face has done. That's why instead of having like a beak that goes out, its face is more flat like ours with a hook beak at the end. It's not using that beak to kill prey, so it doesn't need it to be like crazy. It uses the talons for that. But it's like a rounded face. It's basically like a dish, so it can just bring in sound from everywhere. And then it listens and pinpoints exactly where it is. And owls can actually hear a pregnant mouse easier than they can hear a regular, like a male mouse or a not pregnant mouse, because they can hear the baby's heartbeat inside of the mother mouse's stomach. That to me is just insane. But you know, that's what they've done. They basically evolved to be a flying ear that's nocturnal, which obviously it's done amazingly well. There's all kinds of owl species out there across like the planet and the globe. So, uh, yeah, it makes sense to me. And so I don't think it's like a re evolved thing. I think they're all just owls. Like, a, they had a ancestor that chose to go this direction whenever it decided to start hunting at night and became more nocturnal. And now we have the owl species we have today. So, uh, yeah, though. But hey, if you guys would like, please drop comments down below with Did you guys know this? Did I miss anything that I didn't cover and the, that the article didn't show? And, uh, yeah, maybe send some pictures of some owls that you guys have seen. If you guys have any, uh, that'd be really awesome. If you guys know more information, please let me know. Uh, if there's better articles out there further explaining more cool owl facts, let me know where those are too. Maybe I'll cover them in the future. Uh, without further ado, though, guys, please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, or that like and subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.